see many things every day, but my best friend showed me that with your eyes closed, you can see things in a different way. Although he's never seen a computer, my best friend knows how to surf the internet. He knows black as a color because of his judo belt. My best friend loves books, even though he's never seen a letter. No, it's not magic. He just tells us, close your eyes and see in a different way. He's my best friend, Nico. Hello, it's time to make friends with Nico. Someone to depend on, you'll be so surprised. Every boy and every girl, cause when you close your eyes, you'll see Nico's world. Listen, you'll see what you've been missing. There's such a lot of wonder in this world. For you to experience, let your voice be heard. Here comes Nico and his friends. You can dream, you can achieve. Sing out loud, Nico's here. You know, you'll always have a friend in Nico. Someone to depend on, don't look so surprised. He's here for every boy and girl. If you close your eyes, you'll be in Nico's world. Nico, make friends to be with Nico. See things in a different way. You can cheer, Nico's here. equipment around it's expensive you need to be more careful with it like I am do you see <laughs> I'm the one who's careful Bertha no uh, not like that sounds like the twins are at it again <laughs> this place is funnier than a comedy club girls you're not supposed to move the obstacles would anyone else like to give it a try I'll do it Max. wait now you can talk with my mental powers I can overcome any obstacle Sure, and you'd tear the gym to pieces in a matter of seconds. It's better if you do it, you're the teacher. But I've already done it! Go on now. Oh, all right. Hey, it sounds like someone's eating. Hmm, he's right. It smells like chocolate around here. Charlie, you shouldn't eat between meals. Oops, you don't miss a thing, pal. It's not fair, I'm not on a diet. <laughs> she reminds me of my friend, Boris. Boris? Is he a toad? No, he's a chameleon. A chameleon's the prince of the animal world? I'm single uh, and unspoken for. It's just that... Look, he's gonna jump. Pay attention, children. Here I go. <laughs> Way to go, nice job! Boys and girls, you really need to watch this next exercise. <laughs> Victoria! Miss Victoria! Uh, I'm okay. Victoria with a man? How exciting! Huh? Stop, Tom. He's probably just a relative. Nico, you're not romantic at all. He seems like a nice guy. He has a PhD in physics and quantum mechanics. And he owns a chain of candy stores. Talk where's that chameleon? But what about Max? He really loves Miss Victoria. Let's go, Tom. <laughs> she said he's really nice. I bet he's a lot like me. Why do they always leave the doors open? <laughs> there we go. Hey, Oscar, you've got gum on your face. And you've got it in your brain. Well, I guess that Miss Victoria will leave town with him. Cheer up, Max. She'll never see her again, and that way you won't suffer. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe it either, Max. You're giving up without a fight. You're right, Nico. You should never give up. Nico and I are going to investigate this guy. Exactly. Yeah. Let's go, Tom. <laughs> Marking the curb. Let's see. Very good, Tom. Go on. I can't believe you're a teacher. You're worth so much more. Well, thanks, Cookie, but I really love teaching. Miss Victoria! Wow, look at that car! He's smart and he's rich, too. Oh, good. Come here, everyone. 
I'd like to introduce you to Kuki. Hmm. He's my boyfriend. All right. Boyfriend? Oh. Watch it, pal. Boy, what a muscle head. Thanks, I watched myself. Hey, Tarzan, where did you leave Cheetah? Tarzan? Uh, maybe uh, I put uh, Cheetah in here. Or maybe in here. Uh, 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 no, my car. <laughs> now he's really going to get it. Uh, Max, please, he was uh, only kidding. Uh, oh, so sorry, Victoria. <clears throat> so, you're Victoria's kids. Well, I'm a big kid. That's funny. He's a grown-up, but he still has a teacher. <laughs> of course. You must be Nico, the blind boy. Who's this little mutt? Mind if I pet him? Mutt, I'm a guide dog. You can't pet a guide dog while he's working. Oh, well, hey, is it true that you can read other people's minds? Yeah, and when I tried to read your mind, there was nothing there. Cookie, <laughs> blind people aren't telepathic. That's right. They don't need to be. Nowadays, everyone has a telephone. Achoo! Don't flip out, Flappy. <laughs> I knew that. It's a shame you can't admire my sports car. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what he's missing. Yeah, it's a shame that I can't see the quadraphonic stereo system or the tan uh. leather upholstery. He doesn't have his sight, but he can still see things in his own way. Well, well, what have we got here? The beauty and the beast. This is the beauty, and that's the beast. <laughs> now this wise guy's gone too far. <laughs> Forget about that blind boy and take me for a ride in your sports car. Good idea. Would anyone else here like to come along with us? I can't stand this Why guy. Why is it a sports car? You can't exercise in here. I can't stand you, Flappy. Achoo! Well, come on, and I'll buy you all a meal at the school. That's generous. You invite us to lunch, but our parents have already paid for it. <laughs> See, he's a real joker, isn't he? I'll give you some food if you introduce me to Boris. I'm sorry, but us guide dogs have a very strict diet. Come on. Well, I'll introduce you, but it'll be useless. You'll see. Wow, Kuki's hot rod is really cool. Uh huh? Yeah, it went faster than the speed of thought. A slug moves faster than your thoughts. I don't get it. Come on, Victoria, tell us about your yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, where did you meet? On the internet, that's where the name Kuki comes from. My real name is Francis. Kuki's my nickname. Yeah, Ambrose, buy three million shares of oil. It'll go up like a rocket. Wow, does he sell rockets? Shut up! Oh. Hello, children. And hello to our guest. Oh, Carrot Stew again. Carrot Vigisoir. Sacre bleu! He's a gourmet! I eat it at my chateau in Constantinople. Constantinople? Oh, uh, well... That's not in France, uh, Kuki. I met Cameroon. There you are. Chef Puree, how are the preparations going? I'm busy working on the food right now, Patty. Tomorrow there's a party at my house, and you're all invited. Even Cookie. Thanks. This guy is up to something. I'm sure of it. Well, Victoria, how do you teach a blind child? Why don't you ask him? He's not deaf. OK, I'll tell you my trick. When I don't know something, I ask Tom. Yes. <laughs> Have you always been like this? No way, Kookie. At one time, I used to crawl on all fours. <laughs> he's blind and he's a smart aleck. So, tell us how you met. I've already asked her. Well, Kookie was so sweet and funny, I agreed to a blind date. I think he's the love of my life. Of your life? Your, your... So what do you do, Kookie? I manage investments through my company, where I multiply the money of my investors. He suggested that I invest all my money, but I'm happy with what I've got. Why would I want more? So you could buy yourself a cool car. You could buy and a sleep all day. I don't care about money as long as Kookie and I are together. Well then, are you going to get married? Oh, well. It's not fair. I was going to ask her that. Get married? Don't get mad. I better act fast. I don't like Victoria's boyfriend. Don't be so negative, Nico. I'm happy for Victoria. I don't trust that guy. Yeah, there's just something odd about Cookie's voice. But if he turns out to be trustworthy, I guess I'll have to accept it. Girl, I'm looking for the love of my life, too. Well, don't get your hopes up. Good, Tom. But Victoria, with this guy, she deserves someone more handsome. Huh? You deserve someone prettier, too. Shut up, sis. I was talking to Max. No, you weren't. I was. Wait a minute. Cookies Max. inspired me. I've got to impress Patty at the party tomorrow. This is a job for my super brain. Everything's under control. 
Oh, the guests are licking their lips up to the head. Oh, you exist. A chameleon, you petty thief. Leave that alone. The sweet crepes are a delicacy. This marmalade is mine. Oh. Ah. Leo, ah. all the neighbors are over there. With the blind huh? boy, what will people say? Oh, hi. hi. Welcome hi. to the party. How's it going, Willie? Have you eaten yet? Come on. <laughs> Hello, Nico. How are you? What a pair of lungs. My ears are buzzing, but the rest of me's fine. What? Why are you shouting? Mom, because he's not deaf. Come on, let's get a oh, drink. sure. I look strange in this suit. It's to impress Miss Victoria. That's right, so she won't marry Cookie. I can't let her marry him. I'll have to... <gasps> Counterattack! Go on, play, Amanda. I gotta do something. I've got to catch that chameleon. Why? Are you going to make us chameleon creeps? Sacre bleu! No way! If you catch him, give him to me. Do I look okay to you, Big Ears? Sure, but why are you wearing seatbelts? There's a spenders, moron! Come on, let's get something this to eat. This is a wonderful party. Yes. Very good, Tom. Go play for a while. Let's see, Boris has to be around here somewhere. Fresh orange juice for Nico. Cheers. Thanks, Patty. I'd like a sausage. Where are they? The blind boy will help us. Excuse me, can you detect where the sausages are by their smell? What? Well, not by their smell, but by their sound. I hear them dancing oh. around in your what brain. Nerves. Oh, how rude. We'll have a salad instead. <laughs> Hello. Oh. 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 <laughs> huh? Boris, what are you doing in there? Don't ask, Tom. This place is full of bores. Speaking boars. of bores. Well, no. we meet at last, uh, big boy. Oh, too late. Wait a minute. I'm a bachelor and... Not anymore, you huh? are. Oh, oh. uh, wait for me. <laughs> Patty's over there. She's going to be so impressed. Hold this for me, dimwit. Huh? Yes, Ambrose. Sell all the fixed income deposits. Go for it, Max. Now's your chance. Look at this guy. Hey, pal, where's the flood? Oh, be quiet, Joker. You look nice, Max. Victoria, I wanted to tell you I... There sure are a lot of people. What do you think, sweetheart? Well, you look okay, but you still smell bad. There's no toads over here. Why don't you just give in, pal? Love is great. Are you sure? It looks like too much work to me. Hello, big boy. Help! <laughs> I've got it. Hmm. This phone is a fake. Well, everyone, we've got something important to tell you. Victoria and I have decided to get married. And the wedding will be in three days. And you're all invited. Ah. Hmm. We've got a problem, and we can't waste time. I knew there was something odd about Cookie's voice. Yeah, he's a big phony. Come on now, he's a bit flashy, that's all. <laughs> His car smells like perfume. Let me test it with my molecular analyzer. What is it? Here it is, Alpine Breeze. That's a really expensive perfume. It's not Victoria's, her perfume smells different. He must be cheating on her. We have to find out who wears that perfume so we can expose him. Alpine Breeze? It's the perfume made from Edelweiss. It hasn't been made for a while. Edelweiss is a protective flower. That's odd. My analyzer never fails. Well, Patty, let's go. We have to stop Kooky. Kooky? Young lady, maybe I can help you out, but I need more time. Thanks a lot. Here's my address. Kooky. Could it be possible? At last, little darling. It's your opportunity, Victoria. Give me your money and I'll invest it for you. You'll be able to leave your job, huh? I like my job. But you work too hard, Victoria. Cookie, I can't make up my mind just like that. I don't want you to have to work. But why? So we can spend more time together. I'll get the papers ready. They're getting married. I've lost the race. No way, Max. You've got to keep fighting. It's useless, girls. Forget about Victoria. There are other girls, like me. You're dreaming. Max has nightmares about you. Well, even if he never sees you again, it would be too soon. 
That's it. Thanks. What did we say? The game has an ending. <laughs> I'll slam dunk in the last second. I don't want you to work, so we can spend more time together. Miss Victoria, are you there? Nico? I didn't hear you. That's okay. I came to wish you luck. Thanks, Nico. I'll miss everyone, but especially you. It's been a privilege to be your teacher. Wow, she sounds really upset. You should be happy, but I can hear sadness in your voice. Oh, really? Now, Nico... Victoria! Huh? I've come to say goodbye. Victoria, I'm going to conquer the North Pole. Really? Max, that's wonderful. I'm happy for you. You're supposed to be sad and tell me to stay. Well, I wanted to say goodbye, too. Once I'm married, I'm leaving the huh? school. What? She's, She's leaving? leaving? I can't believe it! It's only one day till the wedding! And we don't have any leads! We're searching around like a blind man! Oh, sorry, Nico. Relax, Aisha. I know what you meant. The cheater will take you away from us forever! Huh? <laughs> hey, Tom! Where's Boris going? Well, I don't know. He didn't say. <laughs> Charlie, don't eat between uh, meals. Hey, yeah. look! A cookie! You're right, Nico. I've got no willpower! <laughs> Ah! I can't resist! Hey, let that go! Whoa! Hey! We have to show Victoria who Kuki really is. She trusts him. We'll have to show her that he's cheating. That's it! Kuki will go on a date! With another woman! Huh? And Victoria will witness it! What? It's really simple. Listen. Okay, here's what we'll do. Don't trust him. All men are liars. Huh? Sleeve is a bit huh? The car. It's him. I want to look my best on my wedding day. Okay? Yes. Wedding? I'll show him. An admirer. <laughs> I've got too much money, but too little of you. I'll be waiting for you in the park at five. I'm irresistible. Hawkeye, calling TechnoWiz. Operation Blind Date is huh? underway. Huh? Hey! Huh? These roses are for the prettiest rose of all. I'll be waiting for you in the park at five. Well, they're not roses, but they are beautiful. Kooky wanted the victims of this louse, so I'm not the only woman he scammed. I sold my watch to pay for it. When Patty sees me show up with a chauffeur, she's gonna flip out. Wow, you've got a chauffeur, too? The chauffeur is you, dimwit. No thanks, Oscar. I don't think so. I didn't ask you to think. Now drive me to the park, because Patty's over there. Okay, everyone out of the way. I'm coming through! Here comes that con artist now! Techno is calling Hawkeye. Target number one in sight. Copy, Hawkeye. Well, are you ready to go? Sure, when Victoria shows up, I throw my arms around Kooky and tell him everything's ready for our wedding. Out of the way, Tom. Boris, watch out. Amanda's here. I'm fed up with that toad. Techno is here. Target number two in sight. Wish me luck. Boris, my love. Listen, I want to make things clear. Open your eyes. Patty's around here somewhere. I'll open my mind's eye and I'll find her. I can't stop. The brakes don't oh. work. Huh? Ah, Break, oh, you oh, idiot! Oh, no. oh, me. oh no! Huh? Victoria? Oh. You stupid love, you're always messing things up! You wanna be my date for the wedding? No way, Oscar! As I was saying, I'm not the one for you! Hi, handsome! Huh? <laughs> well, so long then. You finally convinced her. You're so romantic, Kooky. Me? Uh... I wanna make you happy. I'll leave the school and you can invest my money. Uh, of course. <laughs> You'll live like a queen, Victoria. I'll tell Ambrose to get everything ready. Oscar ruined our plan! Come on, Tom, head for the shore. Sure, pal. There's still time. The wedding's tomorrow. The wedding is in an hour. We better hurry. Come on, Leo, let's go. I don't wanna be late. Well, at least we tried. I refuse to give up. We can't let Victoria get married. We have to do something. Hi, Patty. Do you remember me? 
Yes, did you find out Pine Breeze? Thanks for your help, but it's too late now. The perfume was mine in the sports car, too. What? Kooky's a thief and a swindler, and I can prove it. But they're getting married at 12. Well, we have to hurry. Let me introduce you to the women hurt by Kooky. Hi, Hi kids. kids. Come on, ladies. What are we waiting around here for? Understand, Patty, hardship goes easier Although with Although I was the only one Kooky really wanted. What do you mean? He wanted me. He doesn't like ugly oh. women. Oh! Uh. Take that! We're wasting time. We have 15 minutes until the wedding. Uh, ladies, please! It's good. Are you huh? going to let Kooky disgrace another woman? No! You're, you're right. right! Attack! Attack! Next. Right here. Well, come on. I don't have all day. What's up, fish face? Nothing. Everyone's yeah. nice and late. Cool it, you. Where are the children? Now your money. Not now, Kooky. Are you the accused? Hey, this is a wedding. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I've been married for 30 years. We have to wait, Kooky. Huh? I'm not getting married until my class shows up. But we'll miss our turn. No way, you have, have to, to get, get married. married. It's okay with me if she doesn't want to get married. Give me five minutes. They can't be much longer. Quick to the courthouse, please. Hey, kid, we don't allow dogs. Tom's a guide dog, so he's allowed. Can't you see he's blind? Blind? I've been contaminated. I'm gonna go blind just like you. What a stupid thing to say. You can't go blind from touching someone. It's not contagious. It's true. You'll go blind if you don't take the antidote in five minutes. Yeah, yeah, the antidote. Where's it at? It's at the courthouse. Hurry! I can't believe this. It's time, darling. There's still time to back out, friend. Get married, Victoria. Exactly. You're not going to spoil the wedding now. But the children... We are here to unite in matrimony, Francis Spencer and Victoria. Francis Spencer, do you take Victoria to be your wife? Oh. I do. And do you, Victoria, take Francis Spencer to no. be your wife? Oh, huh? What's going on? All he wants is your money, Victoria. He's a professional swindler. Huh? <laughs> These kids are jokers. Huh? You don't think that... You're not the first one to fall into his trap. Enough. You can't accuse me without proof. I'm the proof. You stole my red sports car and my money. This woman is crazy. Then we are too. Sandra, it's just that this is getting ugly. Ah! Let's get him. Yeah, let's get him. Don't yeah. let him get away. Over there. Hey, stop him. I'm late for the wedding. Oh, boy, am I sweating. <laughs> He's ours now. Oh, ow, ow. I can't understand how I could have let him trick me like that. Well, they say love is blind. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my antidote. The antidote isn't medicine. It's learning about blind people. Well, children, even though there won't be a wedding, there's a banquet waiting. I love you, Victoria. Oh, I guess love has made you lose your appetite. It's not that. I just have indigestion. I don't have a husband, but I still have my children. Hmm. <laughs> hey, look, I caught the bouquet. I know. Now I've lost my appetite, too. Watch out. It's annoying when people help you when you don't need it. It's silly when they do things that you can do by yourself. If you're gonna help a blind person, first ask him if he needs it. There are a lot of things they can do alone. Just ask him how you can help. That way you won't put your foot in your mouth. Watch out. If you have a blind friend, don't worry. When he needs you, he'll tell you. That's what friends are for. Watch where you step. Around every corner there are traps. And even worse, ghosts. Get ready to die of laughter because it's Halloween. A night in which everything I just said happens to us. When we get trapped in Cavus's terrifying mansion, will Flappy get rid of the bat that's following him? Will we manage to escape Cavus's haunted mansion? Don't miss our next episode. Come and live one unforgettable night. Be prepared to believe the unbelievable because this is Halloween.